Okay, so this is little foxy lady, <laughs> Darcy. So this is my third session with Darcy. Uh, Darcy's about 12 months old. Um, Collie, cross, fox. <laughs> um, very reactive. Uh, she will bite if she's pushed too far. Fight or flight and she's she's sort of the, the fight thing. So she's that's the collie in her. Um, <clears throat> you know, they are fearless and they are very quick and very reactive if they've got issues, and she has. So she is on sort of the extreme side of things. I'll just head this way. She is on the extreme side of things and it's not really through any fault of her owners. So they had her as a rescue. She was only, I think, four, four and a half months old and uh, she was already quite a handful then, quite reactive with other dogs. And they tried to do the right thing and uh, they had had a couple of um, so-called behaviourists come out to see her and the behaviourists had actually said, uh, keep away from other dogs, she's aggressive, blah blah blah. The wrong, just completely the wrong information. So the owners being told from so-called, you know, people that know what they're on about, keep her away from other dogs and, uh, you know, she's aggressive, don't do this, don't do that, don't introduce her to new places, keep to the same thing. It's made her worse, it's made her worse. So now she's at 12 months old, super reactive, super stressed, uh, patrolling the garden, constantly barking at the slightest sound, trying to control behaviour in the house, standing and barking at the, uh, the people in the house, and uh, nightmare out on the walks to the point where they could barely walk her. So I've come in and uh, we're seeing results. We're seeing results. It's going to be a long process with Darcy. She's not easy and she is extreme, um, but she's not a bad dog. She's just reactive, you know? And uh, <clears throat> so anyway, that said, this morning when I picked her up, I just went out, me and her together, one-to-one, -to -one, lots of lead work, getting her listening to me, uh, meeting other dogs, not that she was socializing with them. She's just walking on the lead next to me and we're meeting other dogs on the walk. We go past them. Yes, she's reacting, but she's not barking and lunging and it's gradually getting less and less and she is looking towards me for the uh for the direction that little bit more and more so every now and then she'll look up and, and pay attention so uh she's a little bit strong at the moment because you can't really see him very well but i've got <laughs> rio so i've got rio with her today so the last two sessions she has been introduced to roscoe the reason for me using Roscoe is because he's completely unreactive. His energy is completely calm. He's perfect for reactive, nervous, aggressive dogs because he doesn't react back. And uh, and he's, he's good as gold with me. He knows I'm in charge of the situation. He lets me control what's what, which is what you want. You don't want a dog that's going to make decisions all on his own. So that was Roscoe with his calm, blank energy. Uh, it's perfect for her and it's been where they've both been off lead together. Uh, bear in mind she's never been off lead with another dog and when she has seen other dogs she's, you know, she's really been quite uh, feisty and aggressive and uh, <coughs> just keep my eye on her. See what Rio does is he, he does the typical collie thing, he herds, so he's always going around the back of her which is why I've chosen him today. She's had a couple of uh, sessions with Roscoe. She knows what it's like to be with a dog that's completely placid, tootles along, no, no fast movement. With Rio, it's a different thing. He's a collie, he's fast, he's got a job to do and he's going to round her up. So he's not going to stay away from her and be completely blank. He's going to be round her. He's going to be changing direction. He's going to be doing his job, but at the same time, he's, uh, he's super obedient, so he knows exactly what I want to do. But this is why she's more reactive at the moment on the lead because he's ducking and diving behind me and she's obviously wary of another dog around her. That's why we're using him, that's why we're doing this. She's got to get used to it and realise that there's nothing wrong. And while that's happening, she's taking confidence in me, the handler, that nothing's wrong. Yeah, let's go up this way. So, uh, I mean, I'm hoping that uh, I can have them both off lead together at, uh, at some point today, I'm hoping. I'm not 100% sure that will happen, simply because with a reactive dog, any kind of fast movement will trigger them. And collies are fast, Rio is fast. So if she was to start 
uh, sort of having a little nosy about and a, a sniff around, running forwards and backwards. Rio would run back forwards and backwards with her and round her up. Um, so he wouldn't just ignore her. That would create a reaction from her if she's still of that state of mind. So it could be that uh, I'll have Rio on the lead and she'll be off lead for a little while. Um, and while he's on the lead, he won't offer to do anything as regards work around in a rope. So she can run backwards and forwards to him and uh, she won't get a reaction from him. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see how see how we go with that. So he just, he pretty much just walks there and then he goes around the back of me and he walks up the side of her and then he'll come around the back of the side of me. So it's getting me used to a dog just being, you know, all around her, not necessarily knowing where he's going. He's quite quick, um, but he's, he's not aggressive at all. He's not challenging, he's not eye contact. So it's all good for confidence and getting her used to all of this. So uh, I'm hoping we'll see some more people out as well while we're on the walk so she can see how Rio responds to people. Um, but I mean, she's had a fair share of meeting people this morning on the walk. So uh, so yeah, we've I'm happy with that, with that uh, experience she's had this morning. And this one is really just, he's going now, just something. So this is good, so she can now learn to pay attention to me. There he goes. So this fast movement, this is what's triggering her. So what I'm looking for is for her to slowly get less and less and less with this panic state. And uh, yeah, see how we go. So this is Darcy, third session with me. And uh, the owner has said that they're, they're seeing improvements as well. And they have now started taking a lots of different places, which is what she needs. She can't just be doing that same same routine. They get territorial in the same environment. Um, and you won't solve any problems by oops, by just staying in the same place. So introduced to lots of different experiences, sights and sounds, and it all helps to build their confidence in you. So I'll carry on with this. This is Darcy. Okay.